File ownership. In this lesson, we will cover how files and directories are owned and how we could change the ownership of those files and directories. So the file ownerships are created on user level and a group level. There are two owners of a file or directory, a user, the one who creates the file or directory, and the second one is a group, the user, the group that belongs to. If you are, if you belong to two different group and permission applies that the second group has a read permissions or you could delete a file or directory, as long as you're in that group, then you would have that right. Command to change file ownership is change own, which is also known as change own and change group chgrp change own changes the ownership of a file change group changes the group ownership of a file recursive ownership change option if you are using an option with change own or change group with minus uppercase r it will not only change that directory but also all the files and directories within that parent directory. If you look at the example of Windows, let's say we have this folder called videos and when I click, when I do right click and go to properties, we'll see that under security, this file is owned by the systems and IFSL and administrator. So you see these two people here, these are the group and the single user, one person here is just a user. And again, the system is a group. So group system and administrator own this file or folder called video. And the user who created that folder is I of Saul. And you see at the bottom, it tells you whether that user has read write executable permission you can see right here it has all the permission that we talked about in our linux machine when we log into our linux machine again the first thing what we do we'll see who we are so we are ourself see what files or directories we have these are all the listing of files and directories we have. Now here in the first, second, and here, the third column. The third column tells you who owns this file. Let's say we go to Lisa. We created this file, Lisa, and the person who owns this file, Lisa, is the user I have saw, or yourself, yourself in, in this case. Fourth column right here is the group name. In this case, is I have saw again because I am part of my own group. I belong to my own group. I could change that to a different group, but since I'm a regular user, not a super user, I won't be able to change that permission to any other group. The only person or the only account that could change that uh, ownership is root so let's become root su dash once you log in you do pwd and here it will bring you into slash root now remember you are not in your home directory you are in root directory because you are root right now so i want you to go to your home directory which is if you remember slash home and slash your username it will take you to your home directory you could just do pwd to confirm and do ls minus ltr to confirm another time that these are your directories and files if you wanted to change the permission of lisa and you wanted to change it from yourself and you wanted to have this owned by root what you'll do is change own and you specify 
the name of the user you want to change to and the name of the file Lisa and then when you do ls minus ltr here you will see right here the file is now owned by root you could also do just to be more specific so you don't see all of the files you do ls minus l lisa and you'll see here now the file is owned by root you could do the same thing when you do ch grp which is to change the group you could do the group also there's another group called root and you could do lisa again and you could verify it and now you'll see this file lisa is owned by root and and the group who owns this file is also root now what happened when you become yourself again how do you get out of this root account you just simply type exit you are logged out and just confirm who you are you're yourself which directory you are in you're in your home directory do ls minus ltr and you see there is this file lisa now what happens if you try to delete this file let's see rm lisa it will tell you remove write protected regular of empty file if you say yes and do ls minus ltr there you go it is gone the reason it is gone now why is because when you go one step back to your home directory so your home is right now is slash home slash yourself and when you go one step back you are in just slash home and do ls minus l here you'll see the ifsl directory which is your home directory has the permission of yourself to read write and execute meaning anything inside of the directory you could read you could write and then you could execute so regardless if whoever puts the file in whoever owns the file or um, who whichever groups owns it you could go ahead and still delete it now if you try to create a file in let's say Etsy and you go touch test file it will tell you permission denied because you do not have permission to write to this file how do you check that you do ls minus l slash you could do that or you could simply go to cd slash and do ls minus l and you'll see here's a list of all the directories that are inside of slash and the one we were trying to go to is etsy if you notice here etsy is owned by root and the group is owned by root as well now the root has the permission to write to it but what about the people who are in roots group they don't have a permission to write to it what about everybody else they don't have a permission to write to it so that is why you cannot create a file in etsy so let's let's say if you become root again Okay, and now you go to Etsy and you create a file touch test one two three. Just verify it ls minus ltr. You see at the bottom there's your file. Now another way what you could do is while we are working on this, you can minimize this window and you could open another window by right clicking and create open terminal. So this way we have a regular account which is our account and the root account so this way we don't have to exit out of the root account so who we are we are I have solved which directory we are in we are in slash home and we created the file in Etsy right as a root so let's go to Etsy and let's see ls minus ltr and now we're gonna try to remove this file test one two three and it's gonna say remove right protected it's just a warning you said yes and it still says permission denied now 
why it's saying permission denied again you go to at cd slash and when you do ls minus l and you will see right here that's the etsy directory and it tells you right here the group three bits do not have write permission and the other three bits do not have write permission as well so that's how you change the user um, uh, the files uh, ownership and group ownership so the two commands that we learn is change ownership which is c h o n w sorry o w n and the second one is change group so i again really want you to do a man on each command and go over uh, the description the different option it has same thing you do with the with the second command as well and also i want you to practice this command by changing the permission only in your home directory so your home directory is slash home slash yourself and you could try changing permission uh, to one of the directory like create a new file don't touch the files that you created and just say uh, permission test file create this file and just uh, practice your change um, ownership and change group uh, command on this file and see how you could change it